Are you kidding? There ain't no way I can dance like JB. I can't do nobody's mashed potato. It just don't look right. <laughs> So, I saw Get On Up, the biopic featuring James Brown. I'm glad they made this movie. I'd rather see this movie than another movie about slavery or something like that. This movie is a movie directed by Tate Taylor, who brought a lot of the cast from The Help with him. And you'll remember Tate Taylor from the movie The Help. So he brought in, uh, with from there, uh, Octavia Spencer, uh, Viola Davis, and then of course there's Chadwick Boseman, who you'll remember from 42. So that's a pretty amazing career that Mr. Bozeman has going for him so far. He may just be the this generation's uh, Denzel Washington for sure. So he's already done uh, Jackie Robinson, who's the polar opposite of James Brown, but also had a, a significant impact. And then of course, James Brown, who's, I mean, James Brown. So all you gotta do is say his name. People know him even if you never heard a record, but you have heard a record because he's been sampled more than anybody. So this movie is kind of like your standard biopic in that you get the story of, of, of James Brown's life, how he rose from, like in most cases, abject poverty to just believing in himself, a drive to get things done, to make it to where he could be seen and heard one day so that he could reveal his talent, which he's just ridiculously talented. This movie was so excellent in the way that it executed that. Um, what, you, what stands out the best, and I guess we'll just roll into the props, because you pretty much know what the plot is. It's about somebody going from abject poverty, using music as their means of escape, going against the powers that be that would try to stop them, and the people who would try to add some sort of uh, tomfoolery to the situation and try to keep them down, and they surpass that and even just change the game and create things for themselves. I mean, that's basically the plot. So the props, number one, would be the acting of Chadwick Boseman. I mean, as you watch this movie, you believe that that is James Brown, pressed hair and all, the dance moves, and also the voice, which by the way, you can watch a lot of video and then start to learn how to mimic somebody. A lot of people do that. However, to try to get James, Brown, James Brown's speaking voice, that's difficult because his voice was kind of a, uh, is very unique and he definitely spoke with kind of a heavy southern drawl and then he just kind of mumbled almost in a sense so even when you listen to records Eddie Murphy used to make that joke about you listen to a James Brown record and he, James Brown would just like sound like he just invented words you know because you just didn't quite understand what he was saying You'd move the needle back is what Eddie Murphy would say about him so to get James Brown right and imagine how silly this can look with that wig and the clothes and then trying to talk like that, it could have really come off really bad. It could have seemed like, well, wait, this is too cheesy. However, you get lost in the performance because he has it all the way down. The facial expressions, the way he walks, the way he held his hands, and just the way he did the scenes. And some of the scenes are definitely lip synced, but still, nailed it. It was perfect. So definitely kudos to Chadwick Boseman. I mean, he rocked this like the way a younger Denzel Washington rocked Malcolm X in an old Spike Lee movie. So this is this is what this kid's doing. Secondly, I said the story was compelling. It was good. You really cared about what happened between his mother and him and then them meeting up later on and him having to see her backstage after all the abandonment issues that he had been dealing with his whole life, which helped drive James Brown, helped make him drive to be bigger and better than he ever was because, as he says in the movie, nobody took care of James Brown but James Brown. So there's that wonderful bit of emotional drawstrings being pulled left and right and really hard when you see this dynamic here of a broken relationship between him and anybody actually really in his family. And then the relationship between him and Bobby Bird was just how it strained it eventually became even though he was a staunch uh, supporter. So yes, I would say another prop to this movie is uh, the obvious ones, the performances. When they showed the live performances, you wanted to get up get on up out of your seat. You wanted to dance a little bit when they were showing the live scenes, especially the scenes that were shot in, that was supposedly Paris. So yeah, you had the performance scenes of seeing someone actually do James Brown, the music itself, the acting of Chadwick Boseman, and then the support from all the other great actors like Octavia Spencer, Viola Davis, 
uh, and I forget the gentleman's name who played Bobby Burke, but he was also very good too. I think Nelson, I believe his name was. So, what does Vega Bomber think of this movie then? Or are there any eye rolls in this movie? I almost forgot. So the eye rolls in this movie, hmm. Well, as you know, here in Vega Bomberland, we have props, which are the good things about the movie, and then eye rolls, which are the parts of the movie that just take you out of the movie because it's either trite, cliche, so you, or just maybe basically overused or under-executed. And I'd say probably an eye roll in this film, it would be the support that this film has received in the marketing. Very weak, very, very lame. Uh, most people didn't even know this movie had come out this weekend. So there you have it. This is your boy, Vega Bomber, welcoming you back to Vega Bomber land, letting you know what I think of Get On Up. And Get On Up, as you know, in Vega Bomber land, we only have two ratings. It's either blowing up like a balloon to get some hot air in it, and now it's fun, it's transportation, or we blow things up. We detonate it like a building that's an eyesore that needs to come down because it's ruining the skyline. So this movie, Get On Up, James Brown, the Tate Taylor film, to me is blowing up, baby. This is a good film. Go out and see this film. Don't just watch all the tentpole movies. Support the good movies with solid acting. I tell you, you can't go wrong as a film fan. All right, that's enough. I'm out. You. Mashed potato. No, 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 I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Just gonna walk off.